What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video is going to be about proper cleaning of your shoulder pads. Now a lot of people clean their helmets, their gloves, their cleats, all that kind of stuff and those videos are going to be coming out. But I think the shoulder pads are the area that takes on the most sweat because of just the amount of body it is on. So it is the grossest thing to have to wear secondhand. Everyone knows that smell and the grossness of it, but I think it is the most underclean thing that a football player wears is the shoulder pad. So I'm putting this one up first because I think it is of the most importance. You also can't throw it in like the um, uh, washing machine or anything like that. So it's a little harder to clean too. So it's a bunch of these things coming together. Now, a lot of the new shoulder pads like the Zenith ones here, uh, the Zenith X Flexion pads have antimicrobial materials. That just means it helps not smell, collect bacteria, all that kind of stuff. So these ones, like there's almost no smell to these and these are pretty old at this point. So, and it works really well, but there's still a little bit of smell. It can only do so much, right, as the technology increases. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a very simple thing you can do today to help keep clean your shoulder pads. Now the first thing you can do is straight up soap, take them outside, you can use a hose or a power washer, soap them up, power wash them, let them air dry in the sun for like a day or two or however long. It might take a bit to really air dry them out, you can do that. However, if you want a simple solution you can keep in your locker that you can use after games, practices, whenever, is that is what I'm going to show you next and that's going to be the focus of the video. Let's get into this video. Okay, now it's a super, super simple um, serum, whatever you wanna do, spray that you can spray on your shoulder pads to help kill the bacteria, okay? Now the ratio is going to be um, one part rubbing alcohol or anything of like high alcohol content. And the thing I saw also said vodka, but just get rubbing alcohol. Um, so one part alcohol, one part white distilled vinegar, two parts water to dilute it, and then some form of scent, okay? So what I've done here is I couldn't find a spray bottle in my house. Um, I just couldn't find any that I could use for this. So what I did is a lot of these things also tell you about using oils, essential oils like lemon oils, um, lavender oils, right? All that good smelling stuff that'll help, again, mask the smell a little bit while it's doing all the killing stuff of the alcohol and the vinegar and those things. So what I've done here is I had a Febreze bottle with a little bit of cleaner left in the bottom of it and I thought it was perfect. So what I did to this bottle, I added, uh, that'd be a quarter cup of vinegar, a quarter cup of alcohol, a half a cup of water, and that gives you your one part, one part to two part, plus a little bit of Febreze left in the bottom and that's providing my scent. Again, there's probably some antibacterial stuff in the Febreze as well. That obviously helps with it, but all you basically have to do is keep a bottle like this in your locker. And after each practice, all you have to basically do, take the pads, right? Spray them down, coat the inside, but especially coat the inside with this stuff. And if you wanna make this, again, you can use a Febreze bottle, essential oils, or you can buy a spray bottle um, at your dollar store and just use that. Again, I wanted to film this so I didn't have I wanted to film this so I didn't have time to do that, but that's basically all you have to do. Now just put a coat of that on, let that dry, and again, you can even just spray it in your locker as well. Keep this bottle in there, and that way after practices, games, you can spray it down. Games, you probably have a couple days off, so you can spray it. It'll give it enough time to sit inside your locker and soak it up over the weekend probably. So it is a really quick, easy solution to help keep down the bacteria on your pads. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now, I know if you want to use a lot of this stuff, just bring up the ratio, right? All you have to do is bring it to, say, one cup of alcohol to one cup of vinegar to two cups of water plus your sensor, whatever you want to use. That's a pretty simple ratio, then that's really all it takes just to kill that bacteria. That's the big thing. That'll make the smell go away as well. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please like it. That way I know what kind of content you want to see. Uh, if you have any questions about this, leave them down below as far as other video ideas or questions about this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks.